Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Ezra Automation Channel. In the last session, we have seen about uh, the Selenium standalone grid. So in this session, I am going to discuss about hub and node concept. So let's get started. So let me open the browser here. So this is a session that we have discussed so far, which is a standalone one. So for standalone, we need to use the Java jar and the Selenium jar version and standalone. That is a configuration of all together. I mean, we have a components, right? Selenium grid components. So all together will be in a standalone where we no need to uh, separately run the hub and the node. So to run separately hub and node, we will see how we can configure those. So hub is a configuration of couple of components that is router distributor, sessions map, sessions queue and event bus. So one thing which is separated here is a node. So to start and hub and node, we have this uh, command. So we'll execute this command and uh, for node we have this command too. So to start these versions, we need a jar and we have to download Selenium standalone jar into our system and we need a drivers from uh, Chrome, Firefox, IE and Microsoft Edge. So I have them handy. So let me go to my local browser. I mean local folder. So here I have uh, Selenium standalone and I have couple of drivers here. So I will quickly open CMD here and you can open CMD anywhere and you need to navigate to this browser and then you can start typing Java jar then Selenium jar Hub. So in case of Selenium version 3 where you will specifically mention that role. So in Selenium 4 you no need to mention role just provide the hub then it will start as a hub and you will see this log started here. You can see here the socket created event bus ready and we have started session. So let me copy this session from here and go to browser. and open a new tab again and now you can see grid has no register nodes yet so we have in the overview or you can see in the sessions or in the help section you don't find anything configured yet so to configure that again go to the same location of your drivers and selenium standalone jar there you can again do a cmd and here again you need to type the same command java hyphen jar and selenium and again you need to mention node and the same thing happens when you are using a selenium version 3 then you need to specifically mention role now you no need to mention role just click on node and hit enter now you can see it will create a socket even bus are ready and then you have internet explorer firefox edge chrome and all these are in the node and let's me go to this browser and i can see here so i have chrome firefox ie and edge so all are ready and in the earlier session we have discussed about this project right so i'm going to use the same project here so this is a, a configuration that we need to use so this is the one thing we needed that in your project and where i'm going to start i'm using a parameter here so in the test ng concept we can use a parameter and the parameter is passed from my test ng dot xml so this is a where i am passing the parameter and here i am using a set platform so platform type i am using any so that i can execute this in any, any platform so in case if you wanted to execute only on windows you can specify the windows then you need to set the browser name and then after you have a specific browser related options so for Chrome, we have option, Edge, we have options, for Firefox, we have an options. You can add multiple uh, if else conditions and you can include all of them. Like you can include the IE browser as well, which is not I have listed here. And I have this test cases. So I don't need anything to be setting in the test cases. So let me go to my testng.xml and I will right click here and run as testng suit. Now you can see here in the node section, you will see some logs adding here. So as soon as the browser starts its functioning and driver started, mm -hmm. then you will see the logs on this folder. And now you can see as the browser is starting, then you can see application running here and the Chrome just completed. 
so there is an issue with uh, firefox browser in my system that's the reason it is not getting started so in case if you have any uh, questions or queries for this you can post in my comment section i will help you out in that and uh, these are all planned for this session i hope this session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel thank you